Okay, hello people out there. This is Michael Two and a Half Stooges, and this is um another uh, Pokemon battle I had over Wi-Fi uh, a little while ago. So let's see. His name is Frost Three Sixteen or Frost Breath Three Sixteen from the Super Scrum Reforms. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. Um, if he does, I guess he'll tell me, and I'll put an annotation link and link in the description and all that fun stuff. But anyway. Uh, I am hearing uh, random feedback because the volume of my computer is not muted and I'm kind of hearing myself talking. That's just weird. So, let's see. This is um kind of a monotype battle. He said he was going to be using one type and um, not telling me what it was. So, I just have to throw a team together and hope for the best. And it turned out that the one type was steel, which really screwed me over because I was kind of counting on throwing out some toxic spikes and stalling with struggle and all that. And that kind of didn't happen. But anyway, um, okay, some video lag. So, leaving off is Cresselia for me and Corio for him. I'm, I'm going to be doing the, um, the usual double screen thing with Cresselia and looking the damage I take and stuff, which is probably. Which probably saved my button in battle. One of the many things that saved my button in battle. Uh, the other thing I'll, the other things I'll um, mention later because Lucario is going and doing um, three swords and smacks out his attack, which is really a problem sometimes. And um, yeah, so there goes the second screen, and I don't have any attack move except for Ice Beam, which isn't going to do very much damage. One coming from a Cresselia, and two going to a Lucario. Um, so uh, I'm going to be just withdrawing an uh, epic run on the uh, Cresselia and going into Togekiss. Um, good old bird thing with the uh, wonderful ability and ancient power, so I get the boost and all this stuff, but that's neither here nor over there. So Ukara has finally finished maxing out his attack. That's um, extreme speed, does about three quarters to Togekiss. I told you they um, reflect, probably saved my butt, and Aura Sphere. Because what Togus doesn't carry an Aura Sphere and um, clearly taking him down pretty quickly. So, um, that's one thing I don't have to worry about out of many. Alright, next, Fortress. So, this is going to commence a long string of me using Ancient Power and hoping for boost and him throwing out some entry hazards that um, really gave me a lot of trouble down the road. And I wasn't carrying a Rapid Spinner, so that's a problem. And, um, I really should start doing that, because I only have, what, like, one Pokemon in my whole PC with the Rapid Spin on it that I can use, and... Oh, well. Um, so anyway, um, this is just going to be a lot of spam with Leftovers and Ancient Power and Entry Hazards, and, um, eventually I do get the boost, but not for a while, and let's see... One of the rules for this battle also said that um, Wonder Launcher is on, so that does kind of add another dimension to the battle, and that is kind of the other thing that really saved my butt, because I got two some Rax Revives in Trainer Battle. Um, I don't know, I'm still not that crazy about Wonder Launcher, but, but here without her, I probably would have lost pretty quickly. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> Reflex going down, which ultimately, except for the, um, the extreme speed from the card I really wasn't that useful, so I kind of just wasted two turns setting them up. Light Screamer is completely useless since um, I didn't get hit by any special attacks at all, and well, it's a problem. And there goes the uh, Hyper Potion from Wonder Launcher. And there goes the Ancient Power Boost finally, which um, which is really the whole purpose of Togekiss having it. and. I wonder which would um, ultimately, ultimately be more useful on um, Ancient Power or like a bread nasty plot onto it or something. I don't know. I didn't know anything about breeding moves when I made this thing. Anyway, so that's like spikes, south rocks, and um, toxic spikes, all three entry hazards, and that could be a problem. Uh, I actually didn't know that Fortress can learn toxic spikes. Uh, now that I do, I'll probably go and teach my own fortress that somehow, or I have to breed it, well maybe not, but either way, and there's um, fortress finally going down, Excadrill coming out, um, apparently even after the um, the boost of speech from Ancient Power, this thing's still faster than me, which doesn't surprise me, because it's got like, one of the lowest uh, speed stats that a Togekiss can possibly have, 
Um, either way, Sandstorm, well, that's not going to last very long in here, I don't think. Well, it will and it won't, you'll see that later. Uh, but either way, uh, what's it called? Aurosphere taking extra drill down also because it's on steel, wonderful steel. Um, and anyway, Skarmory! This thing was a huge pain in the butt for me. You will see that, um, I don't think it's really an offensive Skarmory at all. It is, as you will see, a, um, Pseudo Hazer and I believe that's what they call them, Pseudo Hazers. And, um, just like Taunt and an Annoyer and overall. And, uh, let's see, who am I gonna be sending out? Come on. It was, um, tied between Politoed and, uh, King Dragoo. I was gonna send out with, um, with a bit time passed up, but that really didn't matter at all in the long run because look at Skarmory using Whirlwind, getting me yeah, out, losing six boosts, which is a really a problem. And Tokus come back in, getting hit by some um, injury hazards, getting hit by some sandstorm, and going down. Oh well, you did well. You took down two things like single handedly Togekiss. Um, let's see, three things actually. Um, that was Fortress, Lucario, and Extra Girl. Anyway, Basilia. Priscilla is back and using Reflect again because this, um, I didn't really want to use Light Screen here because I'm figuring um, the Steel types and the team and the team preview look more like a physical team than a special one, um, except for maybe the um, the cargo. But so hey, uh, why did I just say Hayes? Tom is going to make Priscilla just all but useless because um, Ice Beam and Really low special attack and all that stuff is going to end up doing nothing to his armory, and he's just going to roost it off. So it's like I didn't even do anything in the first place. So it is time, I think, to switch out. Come on, switch out. This is set up too, by the way. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how long I was taking to make my decisions sometimes. All right, yeah, Epic Brendan, let's go. And Flipper, the Politoed. So that's going to get rid of the Sandstone, which is really nice for me, because I don't like entry hazards and I don't like residual damage from weather. And um, up until this point, there's both on that on the field, and um, that's going to be a problem. And <clears throat> let's see. So really, really my um, screensaver just came on in the middle of commentary, and I really wish it wouldn't do that. I should mess with the screensaver setting so it doesn't do that. The only real reason to have um, Politoed out here was to set up rain, and bring in, um, uh, what's your face? Kingdra, because of the Swift Swim ability. Um, Alright, so Reflect is up, the um, Entry Hazards are up, I'm taking some damage, I'm using Fly, I'm not taking that much damage, I'm taking Poison damage, which is a pain in the butt. And, um, let's see. This thing has the uh, Lustre Sword Palkia thing, because it's the same type as Palkia, Water and Dragon, so, um, Water types and dragon type means are going to get a considerable boost. So right now with the rain, that's like same type of attack bonus. The item and then the rain is like three different boosts for water type attacks. So basically, oh, and there's a um, there's a window launcher max thing too. So that's a I told you it was saving my butt. I probably would have gone down to to, uh, to uh, poison in like one turn. Anyway. Um, I don't really know why I'm using like screen here because, like I said already, um, this isn't really a physical team, and that was probably just a wasted turn for me. Because I don't even think there are any special attacks uh, coming from him directed towards me for the rest of the battle. What was I saying? So yeah, at this point, uh, oh look, I just caught a mute. Never mind. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to um, get Kingdra out there and do as much damage as I can, like with the. Uh, Triply boosted water type attacks and <coughs> surf and all that, but um, he's not making that very easy for me. Um, he's got some light screen of his own, apparently coming from a magnet zone. I thought this thing was going to attack me, and I really didn't want that to happen, but I guess uh, I'm losing my train of thought. He had the same idea as me and uh, Cressilia, which is just defense and defense and defense. And that kind of makes a difference too, you know, because that just nerfs damage and um, wasting time with Toxic and Politoids going down, so I really hope that the, um, the rain weather effect doesn't get changed, uh, like, ever. 
Um, anyway, so Flipper's going down to poison, and Kingdra's coming back in, and this is finally, I think, where the battle starts to, um, go somewhere, and so, like, status and setup and all that fun stuff, and a little bit of attack here and there, but not that much. Um, Kingdra, Surf, Light Street or not, that's gonna do a lot of damage, um, like I said, same type of attack bonus, Lux Destroyer, but not Rain. Um, Poison's gonna be a bit of a pain, uh, so I'm gonna have to kill this team quickly, and, um, what am I doing here? By Sharp, uh, messing with you. Um, Well, no, there's no train of thought. It's like the middle of the day. I'm not even tired or anything. So this thing here is... I see... Just setting up a substitute to Sol a little bit, and... The light screen is still having defense taken from Surf, and, um... He does... He, uh, the, um... Frost Breath is accumulating points on the Wonder Launcher, and kind of just stalling right now. Um, for me and the, um... Toxic damage and all that. It's a substitute, not doing anything. Uh, poison is getting really long at this point, and um, <clears throat> after some home claws, I believe it was, or yeah, home claws. That's it. So raising his attack and accuracy. I don't believe that accuracy was that necessary, um, but attack is um, a little bit worrisome. Poison or light screen is going off, which is kind of nice because that lets me attack him a little bit more freely. But yes, yeah, sucker punch, and King Kingdra goes down. Um, let's see, who's coming out now? It's probably Cresselia. It's like the, um... Actually, no, it's not Cresselia. It's a Shuckle, alright. So, um... Oh, Shuckle, I don't... Uh, this thing's whole purpose was to, like, stall with, um, Toxic and his team, but his team's all steel types, so that wasn't really happening. So, right now, um, it's just kind of... Uh, fodder for, like using revives and the wonder launcher and stuff and hopefully building up a little bit of like status annoyance on his side there goes home claws again i think that's plus three his attack is right now plus two or plus three um <clears throat> i think it's plus two uh using power split to um pretty much reduce that to the like normal with um you know when chuck uses power split that basically cuts the opponent's both attacks in half so that's buying me a little bit of time, but, um, by sharp is a by sharp, uh, holding a life orb, which, I don't know, I don't think he would have killed me otherwise, but you can see he's holding a life orb, so I kind of don't get any other chances there, I don't know, um, toxic damage might have taken Chuckle down on that turn anyway, I really have no idea. So anyway, there's, um, I did not know until right now that if you send out, um, I believe any poison type when there's toxic spice on the field, then they'll go away. I wasn't, I had this thing to pretty much lead with and then just throw out the toxic spikes, but for like the eighth time I'm saying this, that's not happening against steel types. So I was just kind of holding it there, hoping I wouldn't have to use it because it's got like Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, Energy Ball, and toxic spikes, and none of them can do anything to any of these Pokemon. Um, that's like a ninth of his HP uh, Giga Drain, so uh, go into a Skarmory. And that's with uh, Skarmory's relatively low special defense and Roserade's enormous uh, special attack. Um, anyway, Whirlwind. So this probably helped me out a little bit because I wanted to switch into um, this thing anyway to get the screens back up. Or the, um, yeah, the screens back up and uh, I didn't want to waste a ton waste, um, waste the turn switching in. So, uh, let's have a look at my editor here. Uh, let's few more minutes of this going on. Um, once again, this is like the third time he's done this, the um, Reflect and Taunt. Uh, I probably should be getting used to this by now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. So, like, this is a familiar scene again. Ice Beam doing a little bit of damage. Fly, I guess hoping to um, just keep stalling or something. I don't know. And for the last time, Kingdra comes in. So, Reflect is up, a um, couple of entry hazards are up, Scrammer using Fly is doing a little bit of damage. Uh, not nearly as much as I'm sure I would have liked it to, 
That wouldn't have done all that much even if there wasn't a reflect. I don't know. King George has got pretty decent defenses. Anyway, let's go. Surf. Um, I probably should have sped this video up a little bit more than I did, but who cares? Alright, so there's a small wonder launcher spam, so that's a max survival in the car. Fortunately, um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, thinking rain dance, uh, no, not rain dance, there's a little rain weather effect is uh, still out there, so my speed is still doubled and pretty much outspeeding anything. Um, because, uh, so swim and double speed and rain and all that, and this, uh, Lucario could have gone for, uh, extreme speed again to do a little bit, a little bit of damage and see what happens, uh, but I don't know, I don't really know why he didn't. <clears throat> I probably would have slowed down the battle a little bit more. And finally, I think this is the last Pokemon by Sharp. So, once again, a priority move, we probably could use Sucker Punch again, and, um, maybe that couple of extreme speed could have killed me, but, it is what it is. Instead, he's going to the um, Wonder Launcher and trying to sell out a little bit. Um, three boosts for water type attacks at the moment, so not happening. Good game. I did not expect to win this by any means, but uh, King just surprised me. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I will look to. I will look forward to battling the sky or really anyone again in the future. Uh, Rate, comes subscribe. Let's. Some other video that I upload to YouTube, it's a, whether it's a playthrough part or a battle video or anything else. Um, yeah, see you later.